Hey guys, so today we're out with the Gearhead Works uh, forearm. This is for the Tavor, as you may have noticed. And we've had this for probably a month and a half, maybe two months or so. And I've been using it. I've shot it plenty of times. I've had other people shoot it as well. I really like this, uh, this unit. Now this one does have a light mounted in it. This is an LED light. You can fit any one inch flashlight you want to put in this thing. And the flashlight mount on this thing is what I really do like about it. It is really strong. It's really well thought out. Now, you can, of course, we've got this one kind of customized up with a uh, tape switch here and the mount on the side. You can do yours however you'd like. Um, you can also put a rail here on either side and rails on the bottom as well. We just have a Magpul rail on here right now. Now, this is comfortable to shoot with the actual rail on the bottom. It's also comfortable to shoot without it. And then you can add any type of vertical grip or AFG or whatever you would like. Now, we will shoot this with... A few different grips on it just to give you an idea of what it looks like and you know how it is but really nice product we will be doing the tabletop review when we get done out here uh, sorry about it if the winds clipping the mic but not really much I can do it's windy today so let's go ahead and get a few uh, shots down range with it and we'll try out some different grips and stuff So today we're going to be doing a full review of the Gearhead Works handguard that you see before you. This is the TMF. This is the Tavor Modular Forearm. We're just going to refer to it as the TMF for the rest of the video. I just wanted to give you a little information about it before we got started into the review. Um, what you're going to get here is, of course, this has an end cap on it. Let's see if I can show that to you there. There you go. You can see the cap that surrounds the flashlight. The cap and the flashlight mount is one solid piece. So it makes for a very strong flashlight mount and it also covers up the front to uh, stop debris and dirt from getting down into the hand guard and around your barrel, which is pretty important if you're gonna be out in the field. Now this will hold any one inch flashlight, uh, any one inch tube diameter. So that also includes your Surefire Millenniums and your Scouts and anything similar to that as long as it's one inch diameter. So there's tons of flashlights on the market that you can get. Um, it's a really solid mount. That one piece construction, what it does is it gives you a whole lot of clamping force and it also gives you a whole lot of contact on that light. We've had no issues with this thing moving around whatsoever. So really strong mount. Now this is uh, aluminum of course and it is covered in Cerakote as opposed to anodizing. Um, and what that does for you, it has actually, actually better uh, thermic properties which keeps the uh, handguard cooler. It actually keeps it cooler than it would if it were anodized or if it were uh, you know just raw aluminum. So that is a plus. Now as you can see there's lots of mounting options on this handguard. You can mount any of the Magpul mole uh, rails on here. We have two different sizes on here right now for you to see. And you'll see once we remove these handguards that there's uh, slits going. There's two slits, one on each side. And if you're not running the rail system, what that does over the stock handguard, which here's the stock handguard, that actually gives you quite a bit of ventilation. So that is a plus. Now, I would not run it with, you know, all the rails that I have on here right now. And here on the other side, you can see we have a tape switch, tape switch holder. Um, so I would at least have one of these open. So you would have some extra ventilation. 
I just have them filled up now just to show you uh, all the options that you have. But you'll be able to see that once we tear this down later on into the review. And you can see we have another uh, Mohan uh, rail here on the bottom. So you have plenty of options with this. Now here's the best part of this uh, handguard in my opinion. You can pick this up, you can see the uh, web address down at the bottom. It's www.gearheadworks.com and you can pick this up in either the black or FDE for $125. That's a really, really good deal for this uh, handguard in my opinion. So that's pretty much all the information. Let's go ahead and get into the review and I'll show you guys a bunch of different options and things that you can do with this and we'll show you how to install it. Hey guys, so here we are with the Gearhead Works TMF and we've got it off the gun now so we can actually get a uh, better look at it. And you can see we actually have the handguard pretty customized out here. Um, you can see a you know weapons light in here. Um, here's the actual mount for the light. This is one of my favorite features of this um, handguard. This thing is very strong and very well thought out. I really like it. Here on the side you can see your cutout so you can actually put rails on here. This will fit any of the Magpul rails that you may have or anything like that. And then here on this side is the same thing but we actually have this uh, pressure tape holder mounted to the uh, actual handguard and we have the uh, pressure switch for the light mounted in there. This is the way I would probably run it uh, myself is the way it's set up just like this. It's very neat and clean. There's not a whole lot to snag or anything like that. And then you can see right here that I actually have a Magpul AFG um, on the bottom here. And then, you know, you can slap rails here and here and on the bottom if you want. Uh, we've ran this in so many different configurations. Um, we ran a vertical grip. I actually ran a light uh, integrated with a vertical grip, which was pretty neat. Uh, the only problem with that is here on the front, this front cap, of course, is cut out for a flashlight. Now, Gearhead Works may actually make a blanked uh, front. Uh, I'm not sure on that at the moment, but uh, you know, you can call and you know, tell them that you want to do something like that if, if that interests you. But let's go ahead and kind of tear it apart and I'll show you how you mount it and uh, show you the mount and how it works and how strong it is. So let's go ahead and take it apart. Okay guys, so here we are. We have the AFG off of there. And the first thing we're gonna do is pull off this front cap, um, which is the light mount as well. And there's just three screws, one on each side and one on the bottom. So let's go ahead and pull those off first. And we'll set those off to the side. And then now you can see is the light mount is right here. This thing is super beefy and super strong. Um, I really, that's my favorite thing about this uh, TMF is this thing is very beefy and well thought out. So let's go ahead and take this apart and I'll show you, uh, you know, how you do that and how you get the light out. But to take this off, you have two screws right here that cinch down the light and we're gonna go ahead and take them off now. Just stick your Allen key in there. And you're probably going to want to go ahead and uh, use some Loctite on here as well. But pretty simple here. So once you have that loose, you can uh, pry this out just a little bit. And then you can slide your light out. So there you go. Light completely out. And then we can have a closer look at the actual light mount here. So let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so here is the light mount out of the TMF. And you can see this thing is one solid piece here, uh, which I really do like. It makes this thing really strong or really beefy. Um, I've had no issues with the light, you know, coming loose from shaking or loosening at all. Um, this thing's really nice. And then here you can see are your three screw holes that actually mount to the front of the T, uh, TMF. So this thing is really nice. And like I said, it's just two screws right here. Um, you tighten those up and it cinches this together and holds any one inch tube light um, really securely. Really tough mount, really like that.
So let's go ahead and have a look at the rest of the TMF now. So here's the uh, rest of the TMF. This is a uh, pretty simple and straightforward. I'm not going to pull the you know tape switch holder and all that off. It's really simple. Um, you can see from down in here if I can get a good angle of that that these just uh, clip in right here and right here um, inside the rail, and that's just like uh, inside the slots here, just like you would on this side. So it's pretty simple. Now here on the bottom, um, you can see is the mounts for the rail on the bottom. And all you need to do to take those off is flip it over and you're gonna come in here and it's just two more uh, Allen heads to take off this rail and then you can throw it on the side or uh, whatever you wanna do with it. And like I said, this is just a Magpul rail that I have on here, um, nothing special. You can get these you know, pretty cheap. So there you go, we have uh, the rail that was on the bottom off. Here's another uh, larger Magpul rail. You can put different size rails on here just to uh, fit your needs. It's pretty simple to um, change these in and out. So as you can see, putting on the rails is pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, you're just gonna take your rail, it goes on the bottom like so, and then you throw the holders on like that, um, which is, these are tapped for your screws and you just pop the screws up to the bottom and tighten it. So it's uh, pretty simple. And like I said, you put on different size rails, um, whatever you want to do. So let's go ahead and, and show you how to install this on the uh, Tabor. Okay, so here we are with the Tabor back in stock mode. This is the stock handguard. And we're just gonna go ahead and pull this off and show you guys how to install the TMF. Pretty simple, you have two screws, one on each side here. Um, you can just take a flathead screwdriver or a Phillips um, and pull these screws out. Really simple to change handguards and stuff on this uh, rifle, really like that. So now all you're gonna do is pull down and there's a little locking tab uh, right on the bottom. And you'll see that come out right there. And that hooks down there. So you go ahead and set that off to the side. Okay, so here we are with our Tavor. We just removed the factory handguard, and now we're gonna go ahead and install the Gearhead Works TMF. Um, we just went ahead and showed you guys how to install the rails and uh, how to install the light and take it apart and put it back together and all that sort of stuff. So it's pretty easy and straightforward to go ahead and mount it to the rifle as well. I'm gonna actually turn this upside down here so you can have a better look at what we're gonna do. So here is the Gearhead Works TMF, and just like on the factory handguard, uh, you have a little tab here that's gonna clip in under here. So you wanna make sure you get that in. And just push the flashlight wire out of the way there. And there we go. And lay it back down, and we're gonna pop in our two uh, factory screws. You just use the same screws that came uh, with the uh, factory handguard. It's a flathead screwdriver like we used before. And then flip it over here on the other side. And we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing. And there it is. There is the Gearhead Works TMF back installed on the rifle and it really didn't take no longer than 5-10 minutes, something like that. The video may be a little longer but um, really didn't take any amount of time. So here it is now with the light switch, the light, and you have another rail over here that you could put a uh, laser or whatever. Whatever customizing you wanted to do on your Tabor. Um, it's kind of like, you know, the AR-15s, you want to put as much uh, goodness as you can on your rifle. But uh, I run mine pretty slick, basically, um, the way that I enjoy running it. Um, I did like it with the AFG quite a bit, but I generally just run it slick or with a uh, vertical grip. So there you go. That's what you look like with the, uh, with the 
full vertical grip on there. So pretty nice, it's pretty comfortable. Yep. So there you go guys, there it is with the uh, Rico installed. Um, this is, you know, similar looking to your Surefires. So that's what it would look like, just imagine it without this light here. Um, I know some guys do like to run dual lights in case one light goes down. So it was just something that I messed with. Um, it was actually uh, pretty comfortable to shoot as well. I did try it like that, so I did kind of enjoy it quite a bit. But just something for you to think about. And uh, let me go ahead and give you my final thoughts on the uh, Gearhead Works TMF. So one of the most important things about this product to me is the company. Paul over at Gearhead Works stand behind his products. He really believes in his products and he puts a lot of time and thought into research and development of his products. He really cares about his customers. Um, so to me, that is very, very important and that's hard to come by nowadays is a company that really cares about their customers and really wants to stand behind their product. So definitely this is two thumbs up for me. This is definitely a buy if you got a Tavor and you're looking for another uh, handguard, um, something with a little more customization, go over to uh, Paul's website. Um, his information is up on the screen now and there'll also be a link down in the description as well. But uh, www.gearheadworks.com, go over there and check them out. Really good stuff over there. He does. But all in all, fantastic guys. I definitely love it. I definitely recommend you go check those guys out. Uh, it's a really good product. But don't forget guys, like always, tech goes not just a word, it's a mindset and a lifestyle. Thanks for watching everybody.